All right, Udemy fans, I hope you guys are enjoying the course so far. Now we're about to hop into what I would call the meat of the course. Everything up to this point has been kind of um, more on the basic side. You know, like things, if you have any familiarity with Excel, things that we've covered at this point have probably been pretty basic. Now we're going to cover more things that are a bit more advanced, some things like filtering, filter views, named ranges, fun functions, formulas, all of which exist in Excel, but are for more advanced users. And then finally, we'll move into charts, data, doing things that only you can do with Google Spreadsheets. So I'm excited to keep going. Hopefully you guys are still hanging with me. Uh, if not, go take a break, You know, get a glass of water, ice cream, gelato, whatever it is that floats your boat. And let's uh, dive into filtering right now. So filtering is a really, really cool tool. So basically what it is, is it's this little filter funnel button that if you press it, it allows you to determine what data you can see in your spreadsheet. So for example, uh, if you look here, here we see a couple examples of swimming in our data. So we can see columns two, three, five, and six all have to do with swimming. What if we wanted to see every sport that wasn't swimming? Well, we could come down here, uncheck the swimming selection, hit OK, and this will filter out across all of our data every instance of swimming that was previously in our spreadsheet. So now if, if that means if we wanted to only look at something like tennis, let's, we, let's say we only want to look at tennis, we can clear everything and then select tennis. And that will show us only the data that exists for tennis. Pretty cool, right? And what's even better is you can create something called a filter view using these filters. So if you want to say, save as filter view. So what that means is that it makes it simple for you to come back. Boom, there you go. So you can do simple things like, we'll call this filter tennis. And so now if we want to, let's say we want to turn the filter off. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. There we go. Cool. Had to load a lot of data. So anytime we want to see every tennis Olympic winner, we can do something where rather than hitting filter views, going back into the whole process that we just went through of saying, you know, only show me tennis here, we can go right to filter views, hit tennis, and voila, that shows us all of the data that we have relating to tennis in this spreadsheet. So you can imagine how this would be useful. I mean, imagine you're doing uh, something with e-commerce, so you're selling, you're doing a data report at work, and you wanna see, you know, uh, how the sales team has performed or how your marketing campaigns have performed. You can easily filter out and say, show me everything that the marketing that the marketing team has done in terms of AdWords, content marketing, whatever it is. Create a filter view for that and make it really easy for you and your team to only see the data that you want to see. So let's go through another example. So let's say we want to create a filter view for country. Oh, that's a good one. So we have our filter still turned on. And let's say we want to select only, we want to only see medalists from the United States. So now what we've done is we've selected only medalists from the United States. And then we'll go to save as filter view. And now if we were to turn, we'll call this filter view USA, USA. Exit out of that. And now if we wanted to see, um, we'll clear this so we get all of our data back. Select all, ta-da. And now if we wanted to only see the US medalists, we could go to filter view, USA, and boom. Instead of, and you can see here how the rows skip. 
So 5, 6, 9, 21, 25, 26. That's just because it's hiding the data that it's filtering out. So this is a really, really cool way to filter down any number of any amount of data that you want into ways that are bite-sized and easier to deal with. You can imagine how useful this is on a massive spreadsheet that has thousands and thousands of data points. So really, really cool tool. And then to turn off filters, simply hit that button again, all the filter stuff goes away, and we're back to our original data set. So that's a really cool thing. And so now what we're going to do next is we're going to get into uh, revision history and find and replace, which are also two cool ways to manipulate and change data.